Hi guys and welcome to the channel. Sagittarius, you are up. What's going on, Sag? Sag, what it do? If you're new here with me, hello, hello. If you are returning, welcome back. If you're subscribed to the tribe and what's good, fam bams, hello to my members. Sagittarius, you got some good stuff coming up. You've had some consistently good crap going on. You may not think so. A lot of you guys are moving. I don't want to do astrological predictions, but a lot of you guys are having to figure out where you're going. Um, moving, uprooting, um, starting new jobs, so forth and so on. This is who's coming in. Okay. For Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Sagittarius, everything that you that you need is below in the description box for you and your collective. Okay. All right. If you're interested in booking a reading with me, please go ahead and do so. Tarot text readings are 22-22 with a 48-hour turnaround. If you want that Zodi, if you want a tarot text reading emailed to you, that's gonna be 2555. It will be in still in text fashion. Keep in mind, though, that I do do a full three-card reading with every text order. So this is not just me, you know, freestyling. I'm literally pulling cards on every single one. Let's go. We are now shuffling to find out who coming in for you, Sage. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. Who's coming in for you? Who's coming in for the Sagittarius? All right. What energy do we have for the Sagittarius? It better not be Uranus. And see, this is why I don't like calling cards out. I just, I can't take it again tonight. What do we have for Sagittarius? What do we have for Sag? All right. We don't want to come out. Thank you, Spirit. What do we have for Sagittarius, please? Okay. We'll take this. A Capricorn. Whoa, looky, looky, Lou. Okay, Sag. You're going to hear me stirring a little bit. I have my warm liquids for my voice. Let's get into it. So, this person is not going to play with you. One of the things that I love to point out, especially, is when I have uh, worked with these energies and people and my clients. Um, I know the zodiac energies. I don't have to know you as a person. But if you tell me the energy of that person, I can pretty much give you about three, four, five, fifty million 50 million points. <coughs> 50 million points on that individual. Here we go. Hold on, guys. <clears throat> I apologize for coughing in your ear. Let me lubricate the throat. Pause on that, too. Here we go. <laughs> so, this individual is Saturn ruled, Sag. You are Jupiter ruled. So when a Capricorn comes into your life, what does 10 mean to you? They're normally coming in, obviously, very ambitious, very ambitious, coming in. And typically Capricorns, inner planet Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus is just not about to play. They don't want to play. They will love you. They're highly attracted to you, Sagittarius, but they just don't want to play with you. Like, you want to move the way you want to move. Go here, go there. Just that there is nothing wrong with the life that you lead. But I find that no matter what type of Capricorn you got, they're just going to be, there's going to be a part of them that's just a little bit more grounded, you know, depending on where your Sagittarius is. Um... So looking at this, I already know that there might be a bit of a clash, but it doesn't have to be. 
okay, as long as the communication is open. But Sagittarius, unfortunately, if you are if you're a Sag Sun and a Mercury Sag, you know your communication falls. You you're not trying to really speak. Your talking is very, um, your communication is um, very um, strange to say the least. <laughs> Especially to a Capricorn, okay? Now, before we get into where you are, this is my PSA. So, I want you to approach this reading understanding where you are and who you are in love. We don't do Hollywood romance on this channel, nor do we do fluff. With that being said, that just means that every anything worth, work, worth having, you're going to have to do some work. Now, Sagittarius, you know, I got a mutable sign in my Jupiter house as well. So I understand that you want to do everything. But unfortunately, you're not always good at every single thing. And you're the type of person that just make yourself a, a expert at something and don't even got to learn how to do it just because you who you are. That's beautiful, Sag, because I love that about you. I do. But unfortunately, to this energy... They are not used to just making themselves an expert because they looked at a book or they did something one time and they just snapped their fingers and they decided this is who I'm going to be. They actually put the work in. Too much work, says some people. So you guys might have two totally different interpretations of what a, of re, what a relationship is, all right? So that is my PSA. PSA is over. Where is the Sagittarius in this? Where are they right now? Where is Sagittarius? Thank you. You want peace and harmony. Now, let me say what I feel about this. If you want peace and harmony, nine times out of ten, you didn't raise some hell. And you can ha ha he he or get mad all you want. You want peace and harmony is because you didn't piss a lot of people off. Nine times out of ten. It doesn't matter whether you intended to do it or not, but this is a beautiful energy to be in. I'm just kidding, but really not kidding. Um, the energy of 12, what does 12 mean to you? Um, I'm, let, I'm looking at this and one plus two is three. That is about, you know, communication. So um, it is about, you know, exploring to a certain extent it's about you know cooperation to a certain extent it's about community so this is where you are you want peace and harmony now when i'm looking at peace and harmony i'm feeling like this is reconciliations and apologies this is people enjoying activities that make you happy this is peaceful endings that bring new beginnings Inspired by life and peace. So apologies, huh? Interesting. So that's where you are right now. You're in the energy of, of um, mending fences, if you will. Mending fences, if you will. Okay? Nothing wrong with that. Let's go ahead and get into the tarot. We're going to get three cards, which indicates... The energy of the person that's coming in, the energy, not their eye color, nor a time frame, because these readings are timeless. OK. What in the hell flipped over? Nothing over there. I thought it did. I'm pretty sure it did. All right, one more. Who's coming in for Sedge? Oh my goodness, thank you. Somebody is loving on you. And they hold a cup of love for you in their heart. They've been going back and forth with you for a minute. Which I can tell you automatically right now, this person don't like. They don't like you. They've been holding 
a pinnacle for someone in their life. They have their idea of what their partner looks like. Sag. This person is ready. This Capricorn individual is ready. They have their idea in their heart. That's the heart place of what they want this individual to be. Very emotional. And, and this individual Capricorn um, definitely has some water somewhere. They are very sensitive. And this energy right here is them taking their time, but not really wanting to take their time at the same time. I feel like I know that's a contradiction. But on one hand, they want to take it slow. But on the other hand, they're also ready. I think they're waiting. And this is really bad about this individual. So I don't know what else they have in their chart. I hope it's not no damn Leo because it's this energy of I'm picking up on. I'm waiting on you. If you can show me that I'm all in, but at the same time, I'm going to show you. I'm not going to tell you that I'm all in and I'm ready. I'm going to make it seem like I'm in this night of pentacles when really they ready to do the damn thing. Why are they like that? Well, because they've been through a lot. They're trying to juggle more than one area of their life right now. They want to be more fun and flexible, but unfortunately, they've been jaded in the past. This individual that's coming in has been jaded in the past, okay? Let's look at the past. Yes, they've been jaded in love. Somebody had them under the impression that there was going to be a brand new beginning in love and that they loved them and were in love with them, and they got shafted. This is the reason why they're in this energy right now. They're ready. They have this big ass cup of love to give, but they're, they're, they're scared. Okay. They're scared. Um, let me give you additional meanings for each one of these in love. I could tell you that this night. Exactly. They want to move forward in a relationship and even they, they want to get married. Um, but you or the other, you on the other hand would be best served to think before accepting. So they were in an energy where they want to offer this to somebody, but the other person wanted to think about it. Now that's the energy of this night in love. So they were ready, but the other person wants to think about it. So now that's who they that that's who they have become because of them being jaded. Okay, King of Cups and love, very nurturing. We know. But at the same time, this is the person that they want. I feel like they want a person who's going to know. Um, they wanted a person that was strong like this king. They wanted a person. They want a person that's going to look past their personal problems and step up to the plate and take care of them emotionally, physically, spiritually. That's what they want. They're looking for a empathetic king or queen, change it as you need to, who's going to come in and really take care of their heart. This is a very sensitive uh, Capricorn, all right? And I told you before I even got their cards that they were ready. The Empress, on the other hand, indicates a brand new birth or birthing something new to existence. And I feel like with her energy, she wants, in this case, obviously, she doesn't want her emperor, she wants the king of cups, but no, um, she wants a, this, this energy from this Capricorn, they want it uh, to blossom. They want, um, uh, uh, to contemplate, um, a new family there, or, you know, uh, a pregnancy or something to seal the damn deal. They're ready. They're ready. They don't want to play, you know, all of these games anymore. They've been done wrong. And they're not, they're, they're just not, they don't want the games anymore. This card indicates that they could be or have been torn between a rock and a hard place. Typically, it could be torn between two lovers or, and they felt like a fool. I believe that um, they contemplated what that offer was, um, that Ace of Cups that was in the past. Um, but somehow there was some, uh -oh, some type of karmic payback. 
and they end up getting jaded by that individual. OK, um, very straightforward reading. Very straightforward. Let's go ahead and get your five clarifiers. Let me pick this. Hold on. Let me pick up the stuff that I am dropping. I apologize. There we go. All right. Five additional clarifiers. So for some of you, now that we've reached the end of the reading, you know, if this is a reconciliation, that's fine. But I'm reading it from what they went through in the past. If that past was you, then that past was you. Okay. What else do we have? All right. Too many. I'm going to take these. One more. One more, please. Thank you. Yes. Now, for some of you guys, you are separated. Okay? So that would play into that narrative that you're coming back to apologize. To reestablish the peace between you guys. All right? Now... This person is going to be the first to make the romantic gesture. Um, they're going to be a little bit more discerning when paying attention to the red flags this time. They're still forgiving and learning and trying to release and heal the past when they got shafted. They have been, and that's also where, okay, that's fine. Thought I saw that. It's another card. Let your friends help you. They've been asking and accepting help from their friends while they were getting out of that other relationship. And you will possibly or they will possibly come into your life and stir up your romantic feelings. So, I mean, I feel like this is a really good start, especially with them forgiving and learning um, how they were treated in the past. But this is what they're going to do. And if you're coming in, you know, and wanting peace and harmony and you... You say you do what you say you're going to do. This may be a match made in heaven. I don't see why it wouldn't be. All right. Um, if nothing else, now that we're focusing on that, well, let's put the rose quartz on her. Because, uh, hey, that is Venus. Um, a Venus rule card with the Empress. One thing is for sure, something new is definitely birthing right now. Or going to birth between you and this individual, Sage. Beautiful energy. Beautiful energy. It is. It was really, really beautiful. Like, share, subscribe to the Marvelous Tribe. Always a pleasure. I'll see you in the next one, Sage. Bye, guys.